In this segment, we're going to record live instruments. Things you'd record with a microphone or plug straight in with a guitar and play them, play them with your fingers. Not computerized instruments or loops. These are real instruments. We'll start by going to the New Project window and selecting the first option, Record Yourself or Your Band. What this does is creates a new Mixcraft session with some of the cool features turned off. The auto beat matching is turned off, the metronome is turned off, and virtual instruments are turned off. Even snapping is turned off, uh, having our cursor snap to the nearest beat. You can see our timeline is set to uh, minutes and seconds instead of bars and beats, because Mixcraft assumes you're going to play without a metronome, you're just going to play live, you know, record yourself. No click, no nothing. That's cool. Although for me, I don't have a band. I'm just just me sitting here with a guitar, so I need to get a virtual band. So I'm going to go ahead and select this option in the top gray section here that says Beats. That will change the timeline from minutes and seconds to bars and beats. That's what I need for me. So I just need a crutch. I also need a band, so I'm going to go to the library and um, pull up some sort of drum beat. Ooh, not that one. All right, that'll work. And... Um, Gonna drag that to the timeline. I'll throw them out, throw it on another track. No, I don't want to change the tempo. I like my tempo, which is 130. There we go. So I'm gonna loop this uh, drum beat out here to the boonies a ways. Now I'm ready to go. All I have to do is plug in an instrument and arm a track for recording. Track one is sitting here ready to go. I'm gonna click on the arm button. Turns that track red, and then right next to the arm button, there's a little down pointing arrow. We're going to click on that and that lets you select inputs. So if you have more than one input on your sound card or audio interface, like I have the Firebox plugged in and it's got six inputs. So I've got three stereo groups here. My guitar is plugged into the left input in the first group, so I'm going to go there and select left. There it is. I'll go ahead and play it and see if um, we've got something on the meter. We do. We have something on the meter. I can't hear it though, and the reason I can't hear it is monitoring is not turned on. Kind of a loop through monitoring feature. If I'm just recording a band in a noisy room where I can't hear anything anyway, I can leave monitor turned off. Or if I've got some speakers, you know, nearby or on my laptop and I don't want feedback to happen going into the mic, you know, out of the speakers into the mic, out of the speakers into the mic, I'll get feedback. So if I'm sitting here with a mandolin or something in front of my computer, I'll leave monitoring off and just play what I'm going to play. But if um, I'm trying to play along with something else or the metronome, I need to hear what's going on. So I'm going to put headphones on, and I'm going to go to the track tab, and I'm going to turn monitoring on. Once monitoring's on, I should be able to play and hear myself. There we go. Now I can hear myself. So I'll rewind to the beginning, press the record button, and attempt to play along. And I'm not a guitar player, but you get the idea. We recorded some guitar there. I can disarm the track, rewind to the beginning, or almost the beginning, and play. Oh, well, my timing is atrocious, but you get the idea. There it is. I'm playing. I could also um, trim this thing, trim the beginning of this region right up to the beginning of my playing. Um, might be wise to do that with snap on so I get right on the beat. I'm going to snap to measure and that forces the cursor to snap right to that measure and I'm going to drag my part up to the beginning. There he is. So other than, you know, being awful, that's how you do it. If you select another input, you can arm more than one track. So I've armed the first track to be um, the stereo input from input 1 and 2 on the front of my firebox, and then input 3 and 4 on the back of the firebox are hooked to this other track here. So as long as you select the input first, you can record um, more than one track. So you can have a kick drum mic, a vocal mic, a guitar mic, bass drum, I mean, I'm sorry, bass guitar mic, whatever you need to record your band, um, plugged into your firebox and get all those separate tracks in one pass. That's how you record audio with a mic. It's pretty easy.